What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another draw preview. And we have a big event this week, a WTA 500 event on the grass courts in Eastbourne, the Eastbourne International. And it's got a big list of players playing and some top 10 players playing, but some players have pulled out. So let's go to the withdrawal list. Only a couple of players are pulled out of this one. We have Sophia Kennan. She's not playing. And Joe Conter is also not playing this one. All right, let's start at the top of the draw now with eight seeds in this one. No seed gets a buy in the first round. Number one seed, Sabalenka. She gets a qualifier in the first round. The winner of that match will play the winner of Kudamatova versus versus Risk in the second round. We've got another qualifier against Kiki Burtons. Winner of that match takes on either Donna Vekic or the number five seed Pliskova. So a big match there. Circle that one as one to watch. Then we've got the number three seed Andrescu taking on Madison Keys, and that is a big, big matchup. Circle that one as one to watch as well. Winner of that match takes on either Conservate or Kuznetsova in the second round. Then we've got a qualifier versus the wildcard Stoza. Winner of that match takes on either Martic or the number six seed Benchic in the second round. So the players I'm looking out for this week, obviously Sabal Lenka. She's got the game for grass. She's got the big serve, the big hitting ground stroke. So I'd expect good things from her this week. Also looking out for Bianca Andrescu, who last week had a pretty tough week. Lost on her birthday on the grass courts. So hopefully now she can get a little bit more form this week going into Wimbledon. And I think she's got a game that can really suit the grass. And also looking out for Bencic as well, because Bencic has just made the final of an event this week as well on grass. So she is in great form on the grass court. So really interested to see how she can back that up in Eastbourne this week. Going to the bottom half of the draw now, we've got the number eight seed and the French Open finalist, Pavlachenkova, up against the wild card Ostapenko in the first round. Interesting to see how that one goes, especially with Pavlachenkova. Winner of that match takes on either Jabor or Vondrasova in the second round. Then we've got Kazakina taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either the wild card Watson or the number four seeds Fiontech. Then we've got another blockbuster first round match. The number seven seed Mertens taking on the unseeded Coco Goff. Circle that one as one to watch. Winner of that match is going to play a qualifier no matter what because two qualies are going at it in the first round. Then we've got the wild card Dart taking on Rabakina. Winner of that match takes on either Bedosa or the number two seed Svetolina who are going at it in the first round. And again, circle that one as one to watch. So the players I'm looking out for, Igis Fiontek. Now she did win Junior Wimbledon a few years ago and we all know that she's a French Open champion. So really interested to see how her game does on the grass this year. Also Pavlachenkova, how can she back up that final at the French Open only a couple of weeks ago, see if she can play on the grass courts as well and convert that form onto the grass. And also Coco Goff, really interested to see how she does because two years ago on the grass courts of Wimbledon, she really broke out and that's when she really made a name for herself. So I'm really interested to see how she does on the grass as well this week, leading into Wimbledon where she did make a name for herself a couple of years ago. So there you have it, Eastbourne International, the biggest event going on this week leading into Wimbledon and a lot of big names playing. Remember, Wimbledon starts this time next week. So these players that make the final, they going to have to have a really quick turnaround to go to London and then play Wimbledon in that first round on the first couple of days. Let me know down in the comments below, who are you most looking forward to watching this week and who do you think is going to win this event because it's still very relatively unknown if the clay court players that did well at the French Open can play on the grass because it's a completely different surface. Also, the players that played last week like Andrescu, Bencic, how are they going to do again this week after having mixed results? Obviously, Andrescu losing and Bencic winning. So again, it's going to be a tough one to pick this week because no one really has that much form because we haven't had that much grass court tennis. But I'm going to go with Fiontech to win this one. Like I said, she did win Junior Wimbledon only a couple of years ago and her game is such an aggressive style and very well suited to the grass courts. So I'm very excited to see how her power translates. And she has a pretty good draw as well. So I'm going to pick her to win this one. Again, let me know down in the comments below, who do you think is going to win this week? So the last preparations for all the top players this week happening in Eastbourne.